Hi there and welcome to another Action Force review and this time it's of the SAS Blades figure who came exclusively with the Hawk helicopter vehicle. Blades was part of the second series of Action Force. He was released in 1983 and 1984. For the G.I. Joe fans amongst you, you'll straight away notice that his body is the exact same mould as Tripwire. Now the figure Tripwire was released in the US in 1983 and Blades obviously came out same time in the UK and Europe. So Blades was a repaint of the G.I. Joe figure Tripwire. Blades came exclusively with the SAS Hawk vehicle, which was a one seat helicopter. It had four missiles and a bomb underneath. So Blades was fully articulated with head movements, uh, joint movement on the elbows, arm movement, waist movement, legs and knee movement. Um, he has molded helmet and visor. And despite being a repaint of Tripwire, who was a minesweeper, the helmet and visor does actually work as he was a helicopter pilot and would have had a similar mask on his face. On his chest, he has an SAS emblem that's in yellow, and this is often missing. Um, it's very hard to get this figure with a good SAS emblem. There are some fakes out there, so be careful. Um, he's got a gun on, his, on the holster and his right leg. And another issue with this figure is that his nose often gets scratches, so it's quite difficult to find this figure with uh, a nose with no paint scratches on it. He didn't come with any accessories. He was later released as a US convention exclusive and had the same accessories that Tripwire did. I mean, he had data file information and on the instruction sheet, you could read about him. His code name was Blades. His personal name was Herbert J. Rottweiler. Action Force number AF342153. His primary military specialty was Airborne Rapid Strike. Secondary military specialty was Close Quarters Battle Flying. Birthplace was the American Midwest. Kids called him Mother's Boy at school, but Action Force training turned him into one mean individual, now a world-renowned airstrike pilot with a reputation for keeping a cool head in a crisis. Subsidiary training in small arms weaponry can tell your rifle's calibre from 30 paces. He still goes home to see his mother after every tour of duty, loves American apple pie. So this is a quick um, review of the SAS Blades figure. He is a cool figure. I think he looks a bit cooler than the G.I. Joe figure Tripwire, if I'm honest. Um, he fits in really well with the black and yellow SAS Hawk helicopter. He's not too difficult to find as a figure, but as a figure with that yellow SAS emblem on his chest, he's very difficult to find. So just for that emblem on the chest, you're looking at over £100 to buy him. It does seem like crazy money just for a logo, but that's what collectors uh, are paying. And it is a rare thing to have on the chest. He's similar to the SAS figure Hunter, who also loses his SAS logo very easily. I'm going to try and continue to do reviews of all the Palitoy Action Force figures and vehicles. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give us a subscribe and a like. Um, check us out on Instagram, Lexi's Toy Loft 12 and our eBay shop. Um, we've also got a Facebook group, um, Lexi's Toy Loft Sales. Feel free to come and join that group. Thank you for watching again and come join us for our next video.